<sighs> yeah, I had a late night. Unreasonably mm -hmm. late. Unreasonably? Unreasonably late night. And it could have been much worse. So we... Cat BF wanted to go to Tennessee, Nashville, to watch some games, hockey and soccer. This was a this was a plan, and uh, the plan was in my calendar. And I was like, oh, okay. Well, what time do we need to leave? And all that, you know, just kind of trusted the plan. And then, <laughs> trust the science. Turns out that. Uh, you know, <laughs> my my uh, autistic need to micromanage everything. I didn't do that, <laughs> so there wasn't much of a plan. Oops, I accidentally consumed the health. Okay. We wake up really early, so I, I didn't really get a full night's sleep already. And uh, the previous night. Yeah. And we drive for like what four hours or whatever to Nashville, and then it's only four hours from Nashville to Atlanta. Yeah, th I think so. I always, for I always forget how close everything is there. Yeah, uh, not everything, but a lot of things. But like, think like big you can, cities yeah, are go closer to a different state. than I think. Yeah, because like New York to Philadelphia seem like very different things, and like it's three hours. Yeah, on the way there, first there was some confusion, like before we left over like, oh, I didn't realize we we're gonna spend the night there. That was part of the plan. Okay, so I packed my stuff. And then, like, on the way there, Cat BF is like, oh, I've never met this person before, actually. The house that we're staying at. I was like, oh. And then it's like, oh, yeah, they're my betting okay. partner. So they do, like, you know, they they share bets or whatever uh, yeah. and talk about sports. And Sports, 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 sports. We get there, and then it seems like between the two of them, there was even more miscommunication. And it's like, oh, I thought we were going to the hockey game. No, I didn't get tickets for that. You wanted me to get tickets for that? What? Starts in like five minutes. We won't be going to the hockey game. And so it's just like, oh, shit. Okay, well, we didn't have to leave that early. <laughs> so we still had the hot soccer Damn. game later. Still had the soccer game at like seven. Thank you so much, Liam. And um, hey, Liam. it was like, okay, well, let's just check out some stuff in uh, Music City, they call it. They do call it that. Uh, only also one type City. of music, though. <laughs> yeah. And it sounds yeah, like yeah. yee Music City, if you like country music. <laughs> Just one music. Yeah, they really... Uh, they, they had a good uh, PR machine on that to get the Nashville to be Music City. Yeah. I would argue there are better cities for music if you like better music. Yeah, and also it was windier than Chicago. So. Windier than Chicago. Bigger Apple than New York. <laughs> Oh my god, on the way there, there were so many stupid funny things. There was like, tourist trap attraction, like a big sign like- World's biggest ball of yarn? It was the world's biggest cast iron skillet. <laughs> and I mean, a cast iron skillet museum. And I was like, wow. That might be sillier than what I said. <laughs> yeah. And so, I was like, wow, how fucking bored do you have to be to do that? Um, Pretty bored. And there were some funny billboards. Oh, yeah, I wrote one of them down. Let me just see it. I, so I have the phrasing on the billboard that I saw. R huge billboard that said, Every tongue will confess, Jesus is Lord. And then in even larger letters underneath, Even the Democrats. <laughs> just this huge, That's so this funny. huge billboard. I was like, oh, man. Because I, like, I can't, if you get, like, out of the city in BC, you you might get some, like, Christian Weird shit, billboard. yeah. But rarely, rarely do you get Christian and political. And That's like a very U.S. Yeah, thing. it's so tribalistic and just hyper mm -hmm. politicized. And also, the yeah. Democrats are largely Christian, so like you don't even know what the f like who you, who are you even arguing against? Like who are you, what's your what's your argument? You know, the uh, um, the atheist Democrats who eat babies. Yeah. So yeah, we got there miscommunication, and then it's like, okay, well... It's too bad. Uh, the National Predators have an excellent mascot. Yeah. The hockey team. Yeah. yeah. Harvey do Weinstein. Do I have a cute picture with him? You bet. Yeah, it's Harvey Weinstein. Uh, do I have <laughs> a cute I, picture yeah. with him? You bet I do. <laughs> yeah, so then we're like... I don't... The guy, the guy that we met up with and I guess proceeded to like drive us around was very nice, very sweet guy. 
Um, Great. But also reminded me of like Alberta furry, you know, sort of like. Okay. I, I think it's it's a very different experience if you've grown up like in Vancouver and your experience with furries is like the Vancouver furry community because like everywhere yes. else there's like a unique brand. There's like you get kind of like further into like really really like kind of socially awkward people and he was a sweetheart don't get me wrong and i hope he's not listening but. and i'm not uh <laughs> making him sad i'll make, <laughs> but, I'll make sure he's not um, would you mind giving his full name and address just to be safe oh okay there was this weird very awkward moment where um oh we started driving and his wife called him and My got wife got mad and was like, you didn't tell me there would be people coming over. Because even oh, though boy. she was out of town, she was looking at the ring doorbell and saw me and Cat BF show up. Yeah. And I, well, Cat BF brought his fursuit head in case they wanted to go to one of the games with a fursuit head on just because he likes doing that. And then, nice. Why and you? so, yeah. And then so, the, like, on this, literally, like, in the car, the car speakers, I'm listening to them, like, argue. <laughs> and she's not a furry. <laughs> She's not a furry, and he is, and like apparently, like she thinks that it's some weird. He's like, like he, so he's a he's a straight country furry. I guess so. Yeah, that's very interesting. And like, so him. she's, I guess she knows about the furry thing, but she thinks it's like a gay yeah. sex thing, and then like text. <laughs> Yeah, and like text. But was still happy to marry him based with that information. I don't know. I'm I'm not gonna go into the details of it, but I'm just saying we had a really awkward. This is fascinating. Weird, very awkward interaction where like she was mad, and then he didn't respond for like thirty seconds every time he said something, and I just like oh I don't understand what's going on here, and it, <laughs> and then later when we were like at a bar, he showed Cat BF like some like some text that his wife was sending him. And I wrote down the phrasing of that according to what Kathy oh, yes. said. It said, you'd better not take them to bed. I will check everything, sad face. And That's it's like, so what the fuck? Funny. And, I'm, like, and I feel bad. And I'm like, I just hope the guy's happy, you know, uh, to some extent. It's kind of weird. I think, I think he might not be happy. <laughs> but like, he, there was never, there was never oh, any implication at all yeah that like we were gonna be fucking already like i i didn't yeah. bring like <laughs> condom like, yeah. like, like you, that wasn't a part end, of the you trip ended up, you ended up fucking to spite her but you weren't planning to no <laughs> okay um, I, I would no 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 this bitch i'm gonna fuck <laughs> hey <husband>. don't <laughs> but that, yeah and then like yeah they, so fucking, we went to like a really cool bar and I had a lovely conversation with um, a lesbian who worked there and I guess just has good enough gaydar that knew, you know, just started striking sure. up a conversation with me and started talking about things that if she picked out a random person from Tennessee, they would be like, you're Satan. You know, we started, we, ta we were talking about <laughs> yeah. like, you know, political things and like just how they keep yeah. doing shit against LGBT people politically in Tennessee and... Yeah, she was I, I sweet. I thought Tennessee had been pretty chill lately. She was pretty sweet. And then um, on the way to the bar, he's he's a really interesting kind of character. And he decided to show us where, like, the Christmas bombing was, which was awesome. <laughs> like, because that was nice. also downtown. I don't know if you heard about that. Yeah. Like, the Nashville it's like Christmas bombing. And it was crazy because, like, so many of the buildings were closed still. Um, because of damage, because they can't repair them immediately, because they're all like heritage, like old brick things, uh, and they're trying to figure out like how. And so there's like, like specialized. Yeah, there's like yeah. thirty businesses that are just like closed wow. still. That have been just closed for yeah. three plus. He's months. like, that's where the laser tag was. <laughs> <laughs> it was. Yeah. Um, also, I love hair. I love laser tag in a heritage building. That's sick. Oh yeah, yeah. It looked pretty interesting. So there was um. Have you ever seen a Bucky's? It's Fuck. fucking crazy. Thank you so much for the raid, Olivia. So, like, in the south, between states, um, yeah. there's, like, a huge gas station that's, like, I don't know. You can fit, like, literally 100 cars in. Gas station in America. Yeah. Very large. 
very large gas station in America. I thought you might <laughs> appreciate how ridiculous this is. And the inside looks fucking packed. That's me. I have no idea what's going on here. Of just like gas yeah. pumps. And then the inside is just packed with like white families <laughs> and just and <laughs> and they sell beef jerky and they have like fucking 20 different types of beef jerky and they like weigh them at a counter like a grocery store and they have Love like it. oh my god and they have all this weird merchandise and like damn it was so weird and the inside is a fucking gong show all this beef jerky. All the beef jerky. But it's like huge. It was crazy, and I still have some beef jerky, and it was awesome. Um, did they uh, did they sell fireworks, or is that other gas stations? Because I, I, I definitely know. remember driving past like a lot of. I, I, they might not even be gas stations. They might just be fireworks places. But goddamn, do they love fireworks there? Yeah. So we we did Bucky's. That's crazy shit there. And then <clears throat> we ate a bunch of beef jerky on the way. So my stomach was just like, oh, only beef jerky was Great. my stomach. That's what you want. Yeah. And then Cat BF was like, okay, we got to go to this Nashville hot chicken place. He was like, it's very hot. It made me cry sort of thing. Okay. I was like, I'm down. And we went and it was called Prince's. Hot chicken, okay. and it was delicious. It was very, very good. Nice. So we there's like a that we've had a couple times that Nashville hot chicken place in Vancouver. I don't remember what it was called, but um, down low chicken shack. Down low, yeah. This was very yeah. different, and just like the chicken was so much bigger and the the crispy crispiness. Um, it was delish. I loved it, and nice. uh, Cat BF got. Mild, which was still spicy. Yeah, it was still it was still spicy. And then, other furry man <laughs> got uh, <laughs> other furry man hot. And then I got I was like I'm just gonna get the hottest one just to prove that I can do it. Oh boy! And it was triple X hot for Damn. three whole wings, and I ate I them all. That's what I what I would have got. I ate them all, and uh, it was fucking delicious. And it made my mouth burn, but yeah. I didn't cry, and I didn't sweat, and I think I might be a spice god. Oh, I've heard that, maybe. I think I might be. I've heard rumors. I've heard rumblings. All right, so here's the breast quarter. This is mild, and Cat BF was saying that even the mild is spicy, which I'm not sure I'm going to agree with, but we're going to take a little piece of this. Just the skin, I guess. Well... You weren't lying. There is spice to that. Even on the mild, that is spicy. It is good. It's got some heat. And now uh, to what is going to ruin me, I guess. Oh my god, look at all the sauce in there. <laughs> it's, it's dripping. It's really good. That does have a lot of spice. I should go on Hot Ones, but now the show is too famous for me. <laughs> they used to have, like, YouTubers on, but now they only have, like... Now it's Barack corporate, Obama. They only have really corporate YouTubers on. They only have canceled Andrew Callahan, though. <laughs> they only have nice. YouTubers that have HBO shows, you know? Yeah, so we did Hot Chicken, and it was fucking awesome. Yeah, I literally just... I had beef jerky, and then I had three chicken wings. <laughs> and that was like, yeah, well, that was just me for the day, I guess. We went to that bar. I said hi to a lesbian. And yep. she was very nice and gave us, like, free shot. It was like it was one of those stupid things where she, you could just tell she just wanted to, like, give us free liquor. <laughs> and she was just trying to find, like, a good excuse. She was like someone's birthday coming up? I'm like, mine's this year. <laughs> um, Cat BF's birthday is, like, coming up, but it's, I guess in a week, but yeah, so we got free shots. And then that's when the night started turning in one direction that uh, 
never really fully recovered from. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I got, you know, had some drinks, and I created a new YouTube channel. <laughs> and just uploaded some videos okay. from my phone called Horse Brains. Okay. Buy shards you, uh, for my you, sword. Buy shards. You didn't Where have, do I get shards from? You didn't have enough YouTube channels? No. Oh, okay. Another one. Had some drinks, and it's like, you know, we were parked downtown, but then still, like, the soccer stadium, like, we had to Uber to it anyway, so it's like, you know, it's just kind of annoying. Soccer stadium, we get there, and I was like, oh, I, I get, like, Nashville has a soccer team. This is Tennessee for soccer. <laughs> I actually wouldn't have uh, yeah. guessed that they did. What's, and there were a uh, bunch of people there. The Nash, the Nashville racists. What's yes, their, it was what's the, their team? it was the racists. Okay, lucky guess. And uh, yeah, fucking drinks were expensive, as you do at a mm -hmm. sports. Oh, at a stadium, things were expensive at a stadium. It was a sports. What? Yeah, they lost to Cincinnati. It was very funny. <laughs> and there was there was one like dad Chad <laughs> Chad dad nice with his son. I call him a Chad not because he looked like a Chad. He looked kind of like uh, like maybe like a skinnier Bob Saget or something. <laughs> okay, um, that's not overly chatty. No, but he was a Chad because he was v rooting for the other team and he was having so much fun. Just in the, oh, nice. like oh, everybody's like fun. everybody's like boo, and he's like yeah. <laughs> it was, the, um, I was just enjoying the, watching the, him. <laughs> the one NFL game I ever went to, I went to a, a Seahawks game in Seattle, and they were playing the Cincinnati Bengals, and I wore nothing but Tiger stuff <laughs> and uh, and cheered for Cincinnati the whole time, and it was fun as hell. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, I was the Chad that day. <laughs> so we watched soccer. That was my first live soccer game, and I got to tell you, it was stupid as fuck. What a dumb game. Have I, have I been to a... I have, I've, oh, I've been so to a Manchester stupid. United and game yeah. in England. I, yeah, I don't love soccer. And, like, Cab BF is, like, explaining to me, like, oh, yeah, so, like, they're trying to run out the clock, so he's just kind of dawdling so over there. To, they're I'm like, going to play, play extra boring. Yeah, and then it's like... yes. Then they everybody's pretending to get hurt. <laughs> oh, it's oh, the, Every, uh, soccer dives are the funniest thing in yeah, the world. Yeah, everyone's just pretending to be injured, and it's just the stupidest shit ever. And then, what's even more frustrating about it is like, no one's no one. Every single person in that stadium cheering for one thing or the other is not even doing so in good faith. If you. No. If the refs call benefits you're your team, the fake injury. Yeah, you're if the refs refs call benefits your team, you're like, "Yes." And if the exact same thing happened to the like uh, other you're team, you, yeah, exactly. It's just like, "Yes." It's not you're even biased. You're not you don't give a shit if the calls are fair. Red Pizza! 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 You're no, just no, kind no, of you're, you're not cheering for fairness. Yeah. You're cheering for your goddamn team to win by any means necessary. You want the ref to like cheat Sports. for you. That's like, but I mean, yes. it's, it seems like particularly bad in soccer. It soccer seems like is bad and very, and, very particularly bad in that sense. It is, and and uh, look, American soccer players uh, faking for attention is one thing, but like European soccer players <laughs> taking dives is like another <laughs> level. Like Italian soccer players, like a guy like runs three feet past him, and he, he like does a double backflip, and he's like holding his like mama, I broke my leg, broke. <laughs> it's it's embarrassing, but also very funny. Yeah, so that was really funny and dumb. It was it was a expensive. But fun game where we just booed and cheered for no good <laughs> <Yeah>. reason. <laughs> Certainly and not for fairness. No. There was nothing. There was no attempt at fairness. Yeah, soccer was bad. <laughs> and then the fucking... It was just one of those stupid things where, like, the d everybody coming out of that stadium is waiting, like, a 
fucking hour to get an Uber. And it's just like the it's the stupidest worst setup that they could possibly have. The the public bathrooms that were open before the game are closed when the game gets out. <laughs> oh. And it's just and so everybody has to piss. <laughs> and it's just like fuck. I almost like I almost did a sneaky piss behind the corner thing, but I, I Love it, there wasn't piss. there wasn't enough time, and I would have been on the sex offender registry. <laughs> Happens to the best of us. And uh, yeah, then we go back, and the furry man that we're staying with, uh, his eighteen-year-old stepson <laughs> shows up unexpectedly wow. in the driveway. This, he's he has a fascinating life. Very. I love this guy. Yeah, and then, like, so he's just, like, shows up in the driveway, and he's like, oh. How and old then, is he? I don't know. 19? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then... That's a step man. Apparently, part that I didn't hear that Cat BF did hear of this part was... Part of the conversation was, why, why are you home? I thought you were at work. And he said... Uh, I got sent home for getting in a fight. <laughs> yes, <laughs> is that that's what apparently I didn't hear, uh, yes. that's but was told awesome. later. And he brought this like he had this tiny dog. He's like, "Hey, we got a new dog," and it was just like one of those like, "What? Where'd you get a dog from?" And like there was this tiny <laughs> white dog, and it had a collar, so like. I don't know if you just stole the dog or if like Ooh. someone's taking the piss out of someone or like I don't know what the <laughs> hell was going on. But he had a he showed up with a dog that he wasn't supposed to have and the other guy was just New clearly dog. like just not wanting to deal with it. <laughs> uh -huh. And just cut, just like ignore that it was happening. After a certain point in the night, it was just kind of like we're winding down just like watching like YouTube yeah. you guys, videos guess. or whatever and then like he goes to sleep, and then the it's just so Cat BF is then taking a big nap, and I'm like, okay, we're not. I really don't want to sleep here. <laughs> you know? Like, like I just I really want to go home because we saw on the way that we came into Tennessee, traffic was fucked coming the other direction. I was like, all those people are just like stuck there. I was like, I don't want to experience that tomorrow. The sleeping arrangements just weren't that great at the place, and it was just kind of like, yeah, like blanket, you know, like whatever. Um, yeah. And I was just, yeah, I was just like not hyped about it, and so I, I kind of just stayed up watching some YouTube stuff by myself, um, so that Cat BF could rest and be good to drive um, after however many hours or whatever, and. Uh, at, at a certain point, I'm just kind of like eating the leftover beef jerky in the kitchen, and then the 18 year old stepson like just comes back <laughs> home with the dog, and it was just kind of one of those awkward interactions of just like, oh, I'm like really, hey. I'm the only one here really, and you're just kind of showing up. I don't know who you are. Your dad brought home a stranger. <laughs> your, your stepdad brought home a stranger. This is a dog you're not supposed to have. <laughs> and I just, I think I just said like, oh, have a good night. And he's like, what? I said, have a good night. Oh, and that was our only interaction. It was very weird. Um, yeah, that would be interesting. Oh, it was very weird. It was yeah. the whole, the whole experience. The whole night was just weird. Yeah, it was just like, fuck. We drove back, blasted some death grips. I tried the new... AI DJ beta feature on Spotify, and it was actually kind of sick. <laughs> it was it recommended some good stuff. I was like, oh damn, some like new shit that seems up my alley. And it was like, you haven't heard this song in two months. We're gonna play it again, Adam. Like this weird <laughs> fake voice. Was just, yeah, it was cool. Like I, don't, I don't like Spotify telling me how to run my business. Yeah, and then we get back, and it's like fucking six thirty in the morning. And I'm okay. just like, it's not <laughs> happy. <laughs> just, yeah. And then I could try to go to sleep. And it's one of those like, wake up every fucking half an hour needing to chug water sleeps of just like, okay, I guess I didn't really eat <laughs> much. And I just only had alcohol. 
You know, you only had alcohol and salt. Yeah, <laughs> it's all you had. <laughs> it was like it didn't really. Yeah, but I was so glad we actually made it back last night. Well, not. I'm glad we didn't s- try yeah, to sleep like, g- there. Given the that options, was just, it was oh, better. So that was so, yeah. That was my yeah. story of why. I, <laughs> why, so why you're, I feel uh, tired you're, what today. you're saying is you're fresh and well rested today. Yeah. Well, I know. You know, Feeling it's good. one of those. One of those. I'll probably sleep great tonight. Days. You know. Mm-hmm. You always sleep great the de- day after. Yeah, after a shit night. Hey, thanks for watching. The five dollar nut patrons for July twenty twenty three are Kaylee Duke, Easy Game sixty nine, Nico Fuentes, Joel nine nine nine, Riggle Moss, Speak of the Joker, Big Guy, No Rope, T King, Saliv eighty eight, The Gray Man, Orange Juice Slurper has a tumor in her head the size of a peanut. Yup, yup, yup. Caden Mack, Charisma, the Super One player. Zachary Kane, Gilly Flower, Mandel Bro, Purple Fire, Gabriel Herrera, Hoofy Doe, and Lemonade Warrior is participating in the hit game Among Us and is considered the encroacher. Thank you all so much for the support. Stay safe out there.